Hot Wheelers, what's happening? Joe Motor here. Welcome back to the Motor Hood. And got another special little Kraken Yak for you here. Got two 55 Chevy Bel Air Gassers. Two incredible models. One was uh, released as a Super Treasure Hunt in 2014. Fantastic model. A great year for the Super Treasure Hunt line of uh, Hot Wheels. And then one that was recently released, the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser Candy Striper, which was the... Um, latest one of the latest releases from the redline club hot wheels collectors website special release and uh was really excited to finally see this one come out of course this was the first time um, it had been released in the main line earlier in a few different colors i think uh, silver and gold and then it came out in black and then they decided to do the Super Treasure Hunt, which was an excellent move. This is still one that's very much sought after and hard to come by. And when you do, it's not very cheap. So it is a beautiful looking version of the Gasser. And uh, I've had this one for a while and has not cracked it open. And it's time to go in the display case since we just got this one in. So now they will be buddies in the display case here. And uh, really great that they both kind of have stripes on the top. One's blue, one is pink so they will make great companions in the display case and so i thought this was a good opportunity to uh to crack them open now uh we knew this was going to come out the candy strapper version we saw um, drawings or artist renditions of these way back almost when the super came out they gave us sneak peeks of the artwork for this and by the way the artwork on the card is fantastic this is probably one of the best uh, card art versions I have ever seen. It's got the vintage Hot Wheels logo up here which was um, more common on the early packaging in the in the 60s. Same goes for this part right here so it's very vintage but it's also got a really nice in the background here I don't know if you can see it's got kind of a, a pattern or motif of other like motors and Hot Wheels logos in the back so it looks really up-to-date as well and then this incredibly drawn caricatured sort of uh, cartoon version here of the candy striper gasser which is just fantastic one of the best uh, artwork renditions i've seen so it is definitely a special release and uh, they definitely went all out on this piece right here so we're going to crack it open and look at it up close i just wanted to show you first of all up close and personal the back so it shows you some of the artwork here here is the write up about it in case you're interested you can see the design scheme and then the write up about it and then this one is actually numbered and it's number 19 19 of 4000 man look at that that is a low number that's probably the lowest number I've ever got but uh, I'm cracking it anyway you know if it was maybe 1 out of 10 if it was 1, one through 10 I'd probably say eh, I gotta keep it in the package but you know 19 it's low it's enough to show off in this video and say look at this I got number 19 but guess what I'm cracking it anyway so for those of you who are cringing you can you can stop the video now <laughs> but I think what we'll do is crack the super open first and uh, then put them side by side and take a look now this was from the the F case of 2014 and I just got super lucky and found this I think in a Walgreens uh, shipper right after uh, Thanksgiving break last year so uh, super lucky to find this and it's time to go in the display case you ready to crack it open here we go and that one didn't want to come out but it is oh man check that out I always love that that just complete different look of it when it comes out of the package for the first time dead mint it's been sitting in that package and now here it is ready to be displayed that is a incredible looking gasser right there just a really wonderful job on this so let's look at real close quickly here you can see the iSky racing cams here on the side Goodyear champion sponsor badges the CG Chevrolet logo it's got a chrome interior which isn't you know the best in the world maybe black would be better but um, they use the same material for the interiors they do this motor right here so it saves them a little money to do that and love that big old motor sitting down in there in the bare hood 
and I just love these uh, Goodyear tires on the back. We'll look at the um, the candy striper in a minute, which has Hoosier tires. So I love those um, Tampo tires there. There's the TH logo for the Super Treasure Hunt. And then back on the back here, you have the racing stripes. So just very good design. I mean, these cars are mass produced, plastic base. Um, so to make it look that good in the main line, of course, Supers always look a little bit better than the regulars, but still, that is one for the ages right there. And to go along with this one here, which we're about to crack open, man, they couldn't look any much better. So here's one last look at the card art. I know those of you out there that like to keep things in the package, you'll you'll keep these in the package for future uh, posterity, but mine is getting opened. So here we go. Check that out. Man, that is gorgeous. Pull it out of the package here. And it's immediately heavier than the Super, obviously, because this one has a metal base. But look at how it shines and glows with that blue, I mean, that pink uh, finish. My goodness. And it is definitely candy stripe there on the top in that canopy right there. That is incredible. And in person, it just gleams and shines like nobody's business. Wow. The good thing about this is they really did some detail in the interior. If you look real close in there, they've got striped seats. Got kind of a pink striped bucket seats in there. Pretty nice. And then let's take a look at the Tampa work here, which is very nicely done. That drop shadow on the candy striper. Crazy font there. The moon eyes down there on the bottom. Very nice sponsor logos. And then here's the rear end tire I was telling you about. It's got the Hoosier logo on it. That is super cool, man. Just killer, killer stuff right there. All the way to the back, look at this nice embellished design here right above the uh, the license place, which says Wada Gas. And then on the, uh, you actually do have painted taillights. You can kind of see the red sticking out from the pink there. I like the blue tinted windows too, it's a nice contrast. I can't tell if it looks like it's a little bit moved down or if that's just the way it's supposed to be, but I still like the blue cast on the glass, it's just a nice accent there. Oh man. Again, another piece I could just sort of hold in front of the camera here for several hours, but uh, you can see the detail just by looking at it. Let's look at the front really quick and that unmistakable gasser stance lifted up in the front there with the uh, painted headlights and side markers or the uh, blinkers there. Pipes coming out the side of the motor right down the front wheel well. Man, look at that shine. Hard to beat that. Really hard to beat it. There's the base. Nice polished metal base. And of course you have slicks on the back of this with the treaded thinner tires. I think you have treads on the Super, yeah. Here's treads on both. The Super has a little bit thicker tire on the front. So you can see the tire difference a little bit there. But overall, these two cars are, again, two cars for the ages. Hot Wheels really outdid themselves with this model and they anticipated the popularity of it by uh, working on this piece. Uh, I think people were only allowed to buy one. Usually on the uh, Red Line Club, you're allowed to buy two, but I think they anticipated the popularity of this being so high that they limited it to one. So I was only able to pick one up. Uh, but man, it was worth it. Check that out. So we'll get some close-up shots of those two. Hope you enjoyed and didn't cringe too much by me cracking those two things open. Um, but uh, we still got more videos planned. Those are beautiful going in the display case. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Keep it on motoring.